Welcome back to Escapement and Watch Falling Titan here. Today we are thanking Kavar Jewelers for lending this monster into the channel. And if you want to buy this monster, email me in the description below and I'll give you a discount code. So introducing the Seiko Monster 4th Generation SRPE 27. And look at that beauty. Phenomenal monster. And yep, it is strange to say beauty when you're talking about a monster. But that's what this one is. Loving this patty. Now, I'm a big fan of patty versions on almost every Seiko. So it's no surprise that I'm a fan of this monster. It has a ton of character and I love that blue bezel. It looks like anodized aluminum, but it is stainless steel and it does have a nice splash of red on it as well. So a colorful beauty. Now the monster has a unique case shape. The lugs transition upwards to protect that bezel and act as a shroud and almost a crown guard for that crown. But it's tough to call it a crown guard. It doesn't look like there's that much protection, especially on the upper side. If it gets hit from this angle there you see that there are reliefs here so you can turn easily but the top lugs also go up and protect that bezel so unique shape and it is a fun watch it doesn't borrow from the icons of the past like many other watches it is a modern diver now for the movement we do have that 4r36 hacking and hand winding automatic, 21.6, VPH, 24 joules, and of course, it does have 41 hours of power reserve. Now the measurements. This one is difficult because of that scalloped out bezel, and the case actually tapers downward, as you can see, like a rhesus cup. All right, so, Near the bottom of the case, it's actually a 40 mil, but we're going to measure from the bezel because that's what our eye sees, 42.3 in diameter. Thickness of 12.5, so very nice. And the lug to lug, 48.5, and we do have drilled lugs right there. So excellent for strap changes. But the bracelet is pretty good as it fits nicely with that fitted end link. Solid links, solid end link. And the bracelet does look nice. It does look like a two piece, but that high polished middle is, is not really a second piece. It's just high polished to contrast with that brushing and make it look like it's its own piece. But it is actually, if you look at the back, let's see we can show it these tags in the way there you can see it is one solid piece all right and there's the case back you got the huko Sai wave and it does say special edition Seiko is gonna make this watch for one year and then they stop production unfortunately not milled the clasp so the bracelet is 20 mil here but it does flower out on that first link to meet the case nicely and that's going to be around 24 right there but it is 20 mil straps and it doesn't taper down this is 20 mils right here so you cannot replace it with the mm 300 clasp unfortunately so you're stuck with the pressed clasp all right guys let's check out that sapphire crystal it is not sapphire <laughs> It is a hard lex, unfortunately, and it does have that candy bar day date magnifier, and I'm not a fan of that. But luckily, Crystal Times makes a sapphire replacement for this one, so definitely do that instantly once you get this watch. Put the sapphire on there and get rid of that magnifier. What do you guys think? Are you guys a fan of it? I'm pretty sure most of my subs are not a fan of it. The dial and hands are beautiful matte black and typical monster hands. A little bit more streamlined and thinner on that hour hand that's deeply engraved and brushed. 
You can still do the rocket ship very nicely. All right. It looks fantastic. And I love that red mini hand and that splash of red on that second hand. The patties are just so fun. And this one is no exception. We got blue, we got red, we got black, we got stainless steel, silver, a lot of colors going on. And it's just a fun look. Now the price, this one is going to be roughly 525 USD RRP. So it might be a tad high for hard legs, but again, it is an easy fix and the bracelet, not the greatest, but I think this thing looks fantastic on a blue Seiko strap. All right. There she is next to the SKX. You can see that longer lug to lug on the monster and that flowering bezel. Does it make it look a little bit bigger to your eyes, guys? Hmm. I don't know. Interesting. I guess they wear pretty much exactly the same. So if you have an SKX and you're wondering how a monster will fit, it's going to wear great just with that little extra lug to lug. All right. Let's try to get a little bit more perspective. Let's get a turtle in here. Why not? There we go. 44 versus 42. Lined up perfectly there. Yeah, you see that flowering bezel on the monster? It does look huge now that I see it next to the turtle. Turtle is thicker, I believe. Look at that. Yep, there they are. All right. So hopefully that helps someone with perspective on the size of the monster. Now we're going to do a wrist shot. Here it is on my 6.5 inch wrist. And it wears great. Very nice. I wish the bracelet had a taper. I think it would look better, but I think it still works. Yeah. So definitely for my wrist size, it's getting near the edge with that almost 49 lug to lug, but doable and it still wears great, has a lot of wrist presence and it just looks very cool. I love those colors. I love the monster and I love the patty. It just looks, this is a fun summer watch. Summer is coming and yeah, I would put this on a blue Seiko silicone 20 mil and yep, this is an excellent excellent summer watch. Let's check out the weight. One eighty six. So very close to the MM 200 at one eighty seven. Okay. So pretty close. And that's with all the links. So it is a tad heavy. I'm not going to say it's light for all day wear, but I do wear this all day, but I feel it. It's not the lightest. It's fine. I typically like to be a bit lighter. I guess it's fine. I don't notice it too much. And I don't know. I know a lot of people like the heft. So okay. So there you can hear that low beat 21, six VPH and 266 amplitude, a little bit low, but these movements are okay. Being at that amplitude it is still healthy and 0.0, .0 milliseconds in B air. No snowflakes. Very nice. Now, negative two, negative five, negative six. Usually the Seiko movements run a bit fast. This one running a bit slow. So a little bit of an anomaly on this one, this is not usual. So negative six, negative seven, negative seven, back to negative six. So that's what it looks like. It's going to settle down on negative six. Let's give it two more rounds. So not the greatest Seiko movement we've seen, but remember this one is rated at what, what is it? I forget plus 25 minus 15. All right, let's call it at negative five. Okay, so here it is in the half lighting. And as you can tell, that beautiful blue bezel, the brushing on top looks 
Fantastic how it plays with that lighting. Excellent. So this one's definitely a looker. It is a beautiful patty. And I'm such a fan of the character of the monster. It's just such a unique dive watch. It is a fun watch. It is a playful watch. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.